Hi, it's been a while, I know, but I had to. I absolutely had to. Brittany's been trying to talk me into coming back to YouTube for a long time, and I thought, what better time than now to review her palette with Bella Beauty Bar. I am so freaking geeked for this palette. Like, just wait. Psh, oh my god. Every time I open it, it's just a new love. A new love. I'm, uh, Y'all. Y'all already know how I feel about it based on the look, based on my attitude right now. These colors are so freaking juicy and just like pigmented and this formula is like nothing I've ever worked with before. I'll get into that at the very end. This is launching on the 18th of October, so this Tuesday, and it'll be $59, I believe, on the site. And then there's also five pigments that come in the collection and a gem jar. Um, not exactly sure how much those are going to be, but there's also a bundle. I'm going to be doing a giveaway with another one of these palettes very soon here, so keep an eye over on my Instagram. I'm going to go into the tutorial now. I've done two looks, and yeah, y'all will see. <laughs> Starting off with the Profusion Eye Base, just to prime my eyelid. I love this one so much. And I'm using the Divini Beauty sponge to blend it all out. And here is the goddamn palette. I am so excited about this i'm going in with the shade grounded to begin with and i'm just mapping out my cut crease with an angle brush from the mary beauty use my code and then psilocybe i'm going in and blending this out this is really where i noticed how either impactful or faded you can make these colors look and how versatile they are you can see my reaction there <laughs> um then i'm going in with lichen to complete the blend and once again, I'm just patting that on super lightly in order to get a nice faded finish to my cut crease. This was like a super simple three shade cut crease blend. I just wanted to feel out how the palette performed initially and I'll do a more complicated look next. Now I'm using some micellar water to clean up all of the excess product and cut my crease real quick. I just use a regular q-tip for this from the dollar store, nothing fancy. And then I'm using my little Enco palette to squeeze out some more base and I'm using a liner brush to line the cut crease and then I'll just pat that out with another brush to finish it all off. Now with intuition, I'm going to go and add a little bit of a liner moment just to start out the lid. Now I'm going in with Sugar Mangolia and I'm going to just blend out the wing a little bit with that. This shade is super nice paired with intuition. I'm going to use this definitely in the future as a little combo because it almost leans pink but it's still purple. It's magenta. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> and then now with the shade Divine, I'm just going to finish up this little blend on my lid. This is another one that packed on is super neon, but then when you blend it out, it just passed out. I don't know how this formula works. It's kind of hard to explain, um, but it's really stunning and I love just the faded finish of everything. Now with Flora, I had an insane reaction. I spontaneously combusted because this is fucking gorgeous. Look at it. Just look at it. Okay, applying that with my finger right away, and then I'm going to go in with a brush to make it a little bit more concentrated, or detailed, or whatever word. I don't know what I'm looking for. And now with Awaken, I'm obsessed with this yellow tone. I'm going to go in and blend out the edge of the lid blend, just because I felt like it was missing a little something. And I'm going in with vibrations and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone. This was stunning. It did not pick up on camera as well as it did in person. So I'm going to try again in my next look. And then I'm just going in with some of the same shades on my lower lash line. Um, I used blue, purple, pink, and then yellow. Don't know what the shades are called. <laughs> I forgot. Now I'm using my Divini Beauty Pastelito palette. And I'm using the shade Appetite to line the cut crease and then with some gems i'm going crazy couldn't hold myself back there are also gems in this collection that i can't wait to buy because the shift in them oh my god it's insane all right and now i'm gonna go do my base i'll be right back 
these are the style celeste from divini beauty they are intense insane i love her gem styles obviously and it goes so perfectly with this look i'm obsessed and then i'm using my l'oreal shake and glow to spritz down my face before highlighter <coughs> that happened and then i'm using mushy from the lele posh and ellie star highlight palette random lip pencil from ColourPop. it's probably three years old and then nudie from jacqueline cosmetics yes then i'm using the dreamer glass from the mary love that shade and then i'm topping everything off with dress it up and a glitter spray from lele posh as well the glitter spray is the shade so fetch yep yeah. and that's it yes yes work pussy bars all right a first impression the brittany huffman and bella beauty bar palette is definitely gonna make an amazing place in my collection i'm gonna have to say it y'all know oh shit my fans on sorry y'all but um y'all already know maggie conquered the rainbow with this palette after that it's gonna be pretty hard to find a palette with unique tones but i think this one definitely did it especially in the shimmers but if you look at things like lichen and psilocybe even even creativity it's a super unique undertone in there and you have just like a full rainbow plus some i also liked that you can either pat lightly on the, sh the shades, the mattes, or you can pack them. So you see Lichen finishes off this blend, but if you packed it on the lid, it would look like that. So there's either like a pastel option if you blend it, or like a in-your-face, bam, bold color option, which I think is super amazing that it's that versatile and that amazing. Also with more pigmented shades, like with Blend Bunny, sometimes they tend to get muddy, especially for beginners. This one would be the way to go. Um, and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, like, bash Blend Bunny, because y'all know those are my favorites, top tier. But I'm just saying, this does have some benefits that those ones do not. And of course, the shimmers are freaking amazing. Indie shimmers all together are just absolutely stunning. So I think I'm going to go into another tutorial now um, with another look, so I can kind of get a lot of experience with this palette. And then I'll go into my final, final thoughts at the very end. So, yeah. Bear with me. <laughs> okay, for the second look, I'm gonna do a talk through because I'm less scattered today. Last night, I was like fucking out of it. Like I needed to do a voiceover. But um, I already did my brow. I used the Divini Beauty Brow BB in the shade Drizzle along with her um, tiny ass little brush. Look at it. I'm so obsessed with the way my brows have been turning out using this product. Um, definitely recommend it. Again, I'm just gonna go in with my Profusion eye base. And I'm sorry if y'all hear my mini fan back here. I need air like moving all the time. I don't know why, but like if it's not, I get panicked. So, and this is also just the same Divini Beauty sponge. This is honestly the best sponge I've ever used. This is my favorite like everyday sponge because it soaks up like the perfect amount of product. Not too much, not too little. Um, so like on an everyday basis, if I'm doing my makeup, I'll, I will use this one. I still like my Lamary one for like full, full coverage because it's way more firm and doesn't soak up any product at all. I kind of want to do a sunset look because... Duh. <laughs> so I think I'm going to start with the shade Intuition, the deepest purple here. I did use it last night, but I'm kind of obsessed with it. I'm just going to pack this in my crease. Last night I focused a lot more on like the blendiness of the shadows, so I think today I'm gonna focus much more on packing them and making that pigment super concentrated just to show the different ways you can use these. I'm taking a little bit of it onto my lower lash line immediately just because I know it's gonna end up there anyway. I'm gonna take Sugar Mangolia. Oh, right there. And I'm just gonna pat this kind of along the edge to blend a little bit. Prior to this palette, I have never tried Bella Beauty Bar or their shadows or I've never even tried anything. So I'm like thoroughly impressed by this and it'll definitely, I'll definitely be purchasing more in the future. Now I'm gonna grab the shade Divine on another like bullet brush, blend out a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna go back in with Sugar Mangolia and Blend between the two. This is so effortless, it is literally shocking. This is pretty much the base blend, like, done. And I'm obsessed. 
All right, now I think I'm gonna go in straight to Enlightenment, the brighter orange. I wanna use Reishi, but we'll use it later. Oh, this is very yellow toned. I like that. And I have a very light hand when it comes to shadows as well, so it's really a builder palette if you're like me and you don't use a lot of pressure. And then, finally, I'm gonna go in with the shade Awaken, the yellow shade. Hello? There we go. And now, I think I'm gonna use my backwards blend technique, so I'm gonna go in with Awaken again, just on a way, like, fluffier brush. This is the M441 from Morphe, and I'm just gonna, like, blow this out all over and now this is the m514 this is what i used for awaken prior and i'm gonna go in with um enlightenment that orange shade this just really helps build the opacity of the shades and really perfect the blend see how that just like helps everything fade together i'm obsessed Missa 100% taught me how to do this, so I'm not taking credit. And then I'm just kind of going back and forth until I like the way it looks. I'm using Divine again, and I'm just gonna really pack that one on because we kind of lost her. That's pretty typical in sunset looks, at least for me. I usually lose my pink shade altogether, but this one is coming back. Like She's making her second impact. Love that. Gorgeous. Then I'm just going back into intuition and I'm gonna blend it but not too high because I don't want to lose the pink again and have to fuck with it even more. And I just skipped the Sugar Mangolia shade because I feel like once you blend Divine and Intuition together, you kind of get the Sugar Mangolia shade like as the blend. I don't know if that makes sense, but it wasn't necessary this time. This is the- Hello? Hello? Focus. Thank you. Let's just cut it for now and see where we go from there. Now I'm just doing the exact same thing I did last night. Just a little bit of base on my palette. This is from Enco Beauty. They're launching very soon. I'm so excited. I'm just gonna line that cut. I have super teary eyes because of my fan. I'm actually gonna turn it off. If I go into psychosis, that's why the fan is off. I am going to take more of the intuition shade just to blend into the eye base. And now I think I'm going to go in with um, Grounded to begin with. I'm obsessed with this shade. A lot of these blues get really patchy, like the, the deep, deep blues. But this one I had no problem with last night and I'm obsessed with it. It's such a gorgeous shade. If I'm not in focus this whole time, it's because my camera is actually being a bitch. Like, I can't make it do what I want it to do. Now, I'm going to go in with the shade Woodland, this deep, deep green. I can't wait to play with this one. This is a beautiful, muted tone. And finally, I think I'm going to go in actually with Lichen. Because I want to see what this looks like packed on. And I'm not worried that it looks a little bit harsh because I'm just gonna pop some shimmer over top. That's really what I do with my cut creases. I don't apply as much base because I feel like shimmers don't go well over a base base like that, like a eyeshadow base. I don't know if that's just my brain being weird, but I just do a thin layer of base and then throw on some mattes real quick. It doesn't have to look good because shimmer makes everything look good. Um, I'm gonna use some of my Jelly Fix but just like a tiny bit. And I'm gonna tap that like above Reishi. No, not, not Reishi. Lichen, duh. And it's like barely enough for me to feel it, but it's still like a little bit tacky. So now I'm gonna go in with, I think I'm gonna use Vibrations first. It's that topper type shade. It's on the inner portion because y'all didn't really get to see it last night. Do you see that? Wait a minute that is everything again ignore the blend and now i'm gonna go in with psychedelia psyched psychedelia there we go oh i just caught the shift hold up can you see that it's this shade it's like purple and it's a lot of things 
She does a lot of things. Okay. And I'm gonna put that right there. Oh Lord. I love a good green chrome and that's doing everything for me. I think I'm gonna even go in with one more because I wanna use hallucinogen. And then the only one I'll have left to use is Moonchild. So I'll do that on Instagram, but this is hallucinogen. This one isn't technically a multi-chrome, but it is super impactful. Fuck, I didn't get that on camera at all. Ooh, that's freaking pretty. I like that one. Going in with a little bit more psychedelia just to blend the two. I am gonna use my Pastelito palette again. Don't mind this one, um, Appetite. I was stupid and I threw the plastic away and it completely tore out because, um, I don't know if y'all know this, but like metallic liners, they're more like squishy. Yeah. Um, and it got stuck to the mirror and just like tore out because of my dumb ass. So I have to kind of like press it back in when I want to use it, but it's okay. It's one of the most beautiful shades out of this entire palette too. It makes me so sad. Okay. And to be completely honest, I don't know how I feel about it. But I think if I stick with it, I'll like it. So I'm going to move on now. I'm going to go ahead and do my base. Um, I'll probably just time lapse it, to be completely honest. Or, you know what? No, I'm going to turn off my camera and I'm going to go do my base. So I can listen to music and turn on my fan. <laughs> I love everything I do with the palette. The liner, we're going to have to stick with it and see if it grows on me okay i got my base on i'm using i've been huh, last night and today i've been using these celestial or whatever the fuck blushes from ioni they're from the dollar store and they're actually real good like they're super pigmented so you gotta be careful but i really like them they're super smooth and like really blendable this one's celestial peach um anyway uh, i am just gonna put on some mascara and a lash quick i've tried every single technique of putting lashes on and this is really the only one that works for me i think i'm gonna do my lip while i'm waiting for that to dry today i'm gonna use twilight from davini look at how pretty those are They're super wispy yes i freaking love this lash it's one of my absolute favorites it's super long like obviously like super long but it's so wispy that the length doesn't look fucking like insane on me okay l'oreal shaking glow real quick i have to get more of this i'm almost out i think i'm gonna use kenzie today from lele posh i also contoured my nose today i haven't done that in a long time all right and now i'm gonna go in with dress it up 2.0 it's the warm toned topper and just pop that all over my face i love these toppers so much they're like some of my favorite things ever invented in the existence of ever i think i'm done now so i'm gonna jump into my final thoughts film my intro and yeah this is the look i'm actually so obsessed with the way it turned out like I feel like after my base goes on, this might be weird, I don't know if y'all relate to this, but after my base goes on, the eyeshadow like settles and like, I don't know if it's my, my skin oil. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I feel like the eyeshadow blends itself like a little bit better as I'm putting my base on. Um, I don't know the scientific explanation, but I like that. And after sitting with it, I'm obsessed with the look that shimmer i'm never gonna get over like tell me they did not do that with this formula it's insane okay i'm gonna stop being a narcissist i'll be right back for intro outro and everything all right so that is the full two looks tutorials everything final thoughts this is really gonna become a holy grail in my collection i feel um when I first get a palette, I struggle with inspiration a little bit, as you can probably tell with this look. The other look I'm very happy with as well. Um, I'm just really happy I got to spotlight three different shimmers in this one because they're so goddamn special. Like, there's nothing like these in my collection yet, so I am stoked about that. Something I do want to touch on real quick is that Moonchild is a completely different texture than all of the other shimmers. So, so Flora is a flaky shimmer. These two are a little bit less flaky, but still like... A little bit flaky and then this one's pretty smooth but kind of in between these two formulas 
then Moonchild is so special. It's probably my favorite shade in the palette, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I captured some of this shift. I'll see if I can add the photo of that in right here. But it's like smooth butter. Like it's, I've never felt anything like this one. This is the most special shade in my opinion. Um, and it's such a pretty tone. I'm so excited to dip into that one pretty soon here. Again, keep an eye on my Instagram um, because I'll be using this nonstop. Like I was saying before, the mattes are very beginner friendly and also very my level friendly. I don't think I'm a beginner anymore. I just think Britney captured her whole vibe of her in this palette so amazingly and the packaging obviously is already displayed. I'm so obsessed with it. Just everything is fire. I'm going to be doing another like updated review and look with it once I get the rest of the collection in my hands. But yeah, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of one of these palettes on Instagram. I know a few other people are doing it too, so just keep a lookout on your socials. Bottom line, buy the palette, support Britney. She's amazing. I love her so much, and I love Bella Beauty Bar so much. I love everything they do. I've never tried them before, t like, these past few days that I've had this palette, but I have been following them for a while, and all their shit is so fucking pretty. Like, I'm literally obsessed with it. I'm probably going to pick up quite a few things when I buy the rest of this collection. Um, but yeah, that those are my thoughts. Love the mattes, love the shimmers, love how versatile it is. Five out of five stars. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments because I'm probably missing a lot of things. But um, yeah, I think that's it for this video. So subscribe, like, comment. I love to hear from you guys whenever I can and follow me on Instagram. I'm not really active on any other social media, so. Period. See y'all later. <laughs>